Welcome to Sidza.com. Heat of atomization. Heat of atomization is the amount of energy required to break all the bonds in a molecule and to convert it into the gaseous atomic state. That means heat of atomization is the amount of energy that we need so that we can convert a substance into the gaseous atomic state. Suppose we have a sodium here, sodium metal, it is in the solid state. The amount of energy that we need here to convert a sodium metal from the solid state to the gaseous state to convert the sodium into the you know the sodium a gaseous state is a heat of atomization. So 108 kilojoules of heat is required so that you can convert a one mole of sodium from solid to the gaseous state. And for a H2 molecule we know there is a hydrogen you know there is a hydrogen hydrogen single bond a one covalent bond is there and you want to convert this H2 molecule into the gaseous state right. How much energy we need that is called as a heat of atomization. So that means 435 kilojoules of heat is required so that we can break here one mole of H2 into the gaseous atomic state. Similarly for the CH4, we know in the CH4 there are four bonds, right? Four covalent bonds, four co, you know, uh, carbon hydrogen bonds and you want to convert it into the gaseous atomic state. Gaseous carbon and the hydrogen in the atomic states how much energy we need? 665, you know, 1665 kilojoules of heat. So it's 1665 kilojoules of heat is required so that, you know, uh, you can convert a one mole of methane into the gaseous, you know, atoms there. For a monoatomic substance like uh, sodium metal here, you know, we have a monoatomic substance. For all the monoatomic, you know, substances, which are in the solid state and if you want to convert into the gaseous state the heat of atomization can also be called as a heat of sublimation because sublimation is converting a substance from the solid directly to the gaseous state. So for a monoatomic uh, you know solid uh, substance heat of atomization can also be treated as a heat of sublimation and for a diatomic molecule homonuclear diatomic molecule like H2 molecule heat of atomization here you know 435 is the heat that we require so that you can convert this H2 molecule into the gaseous hydrogen atoms this is also the bond energy right because you have to break the bond only then you can convert it into the gaseous atomic state so for a diatomic molecule like H2 heat of atomization will also be called as the heat of you know uh, the bond energy and for a polyatomic molecule like the CH4 in the you know uh, CH4 there are four bonds four carbon hydrogen bonds and you want to convert one mole of this uh, CH4 into carbon and hydrogen you need 1665 kilojoules of heat and you know this is also the energy that you required to break the four different you know four bonds in the CH4 and from this value here, even you can find the bond energy, right? Bond dissociation energy. Because in the methane, we got four carbon hydrogen bonds and you want to convert into the gaseous carbon and hydrogen. For that, how much heat you require? We require 1665 kilojoules of heat. So this is the amount of heat that we require so that you can break all the four bonds in the methane. And then you can, you can convert it into carbon and hydrogen. Now, if you divide it by the 4, right, if you divide it by the 4, what you will get? You will get the bond dissociation energy, bond energy or, you know, of this carbon hydrogen in the methane, right? So how much it will be? It will be 416.25 kilojoules, right, of heat. That means this is the amount of heat that you require to break, you know, the one carbon hydrogen bond. This is the average you know the bond dissociation energy of the uh, carbon hydrogen in the methane hope you got the concept thanks for watching the video bye for now